Wow, tubers, how's it going? Just realized I hadn't put up a video in a while, and uh, you know, these things happen sometimes. Truth is, I'm old and I want to stop work sometime in the future, which I'm not even close to prepared for, you know, old. So I'm trying to clean up my life, and that's what I've been doing the last month. A lot of crap had to be changed, adjusted. I want to clean up my life. But listen, the today's video is right here behind me is a Winchester bandit safe combination lock piece of crap. I've had it for going on three years now and uh, it just doesn't work right. When you're doing the dial, when you hit the last number and then you try to do the swift turn to catch it all, it just doesn't catch. And if you keep trying to come, in the beginning it was, oh, maybe I did it wrong the second time, worked fine. Now it's like third, fourth, tenth, twentieth time, it's not catching. So it's become really frustrating and uh, I'm afraid I'm going to be locked out of my safe. So, of course, being the fool that I am, I decided I'll take things apart. Yeah, that's always a good idea, guys. But, I think I've learned something. So, let's open up the, the safe. Okay. There we go. Now, I'm going to bring the camera around so you can see. In fact, let me move this chair. Okay, chair's out of the way. Come on over, let's look at the lock mechanism. And I'll zoom you in a little. So you can actually see what's going on here. Okay. What's happening is... When you do the combination, the final turn, this little circle part indent is supposed to line up with this hook, which you just flip over, and then when you turn your combination back, it pulls up the little rod here on the bottom, and that frees the handle. Now I have removed the safety anti-break-in mechanism here. I bent this piece of crap here. I even, don't even know what it is out of the way now. And uh, trying to get this, thinking this is my problem. Well, the truth is, my problem the whole time is there's a little tiny spring right here that pulls this over. And the spring just doesn't do it. But if you just put a little more pressure on this, when you're doing the combination, it pops. Let me see if I can set you up and you can see what happens when I manipulate the numbers. Okay. All right, welcome back. <coughs> I've taken this piece off here and removed this tiny little spring piece of crap. And what I'm going to do is try to replace it. Went to Lowe's. See, this spring goes right around here. I went to Lowe's and got this spring here. I'm going to drill a couple of holes. I think I'll catch that screw and try to drill down there and see if I can't get a different spring to pull and uh, somewhere here I think I've got the screws for the uh, the door that came off so uh, that's the plan put a screw here hook the spring drill a hole put a screw over here but as you can see what's supposed to happen is when you hit your last digit and then you swing it back it's supposed to catch this knob and then just lift it up but what happens is 
you catch the last digit, the spring never pushes it over, and you're always just doing this crap hoping you catch. Where a good spring, well, now that I've played with it too much, I've got to redo the combination, would let me get it in there. Anyways, let me drill a hole, put some screws, and uh, I'll get right back to you. Well, you might want to see me struggle with this, so what the heck. We're trying to pick the right spot to make sure I've got some tension. Oh, it seems nice and soft. It's very happy to let me drill through. And I just broke through. Now, that's just a tad small for that. Let me see again what I've got for screws. Well, I'm back. Are we recording? Yeah. Okay. As you can see, I found the crappiest screw I could find. Not even the right kind of head but I put a washer on it we're doing the butcher boy anyway so let's see what happens okay there it is now I've added a washer to this to space it out a little there's washers here I don't know. Did I give that enough clearance? Let me uh, take the screwdriver here and just make sure that I'm giving this thing maximum maximum clearance. Okay, the spring at this moment does not appear be touching the clockwork. It sticks out a little. All right, well, let's try it. Okay, let's try it. Let me back this thing off, the light off. I'll set you guys over here. Um, I'm not sure how much you're going to really be able to see because I need to be over here to manipulate the lock. You set the light here next to you. Maybe that will help. Yeah, there you go. Well, I can hear a dragon, that's for sure. Let's try. Okay, right here is where it's supposed to line up. And then when I come around, just not in the right spot 
needs to be in here. Okay. What I'm going to do is um, pop some screws off and make an adjustment. I'm going to take that washer out that I put down in here. See if I can do it without pulling the spring off. I added this. Obviously, that was a mistake. everything back up again okay I'm actually getting pretty good at fooling with these things this one at least I've mangled it butchered it played with it. No, I think I'd rather have this spring out more. Okay. All right, let's see what happens again. Look, I'm going to just shut this off and see if I've got a working unit. Okay. What I'm, I'm guessing is it still won't go. So there's some sharp edges right on either side of this. I'm going to round them off with a file a little bit and see if that doesn't smooth things up on operation. I'm going to just turn the camera off because you'll be just looking at my back. All right, I've spent the whole day fooling with this piece of crap. And I got to tell you, the Winchester Bandit Safe combination version is truly a piece of crap. Okay, I mean, I had, I've taken it apart, I've fooled with it. The locking mechanism, my God, give me about a friggin' hand grinder in five minutes and I'm in here. You know, battery powered grinder. There's no security to this thing. Trust me. Anybody wants in five or 10 minutes, you know where the place is to drill and hit. There's no security to this, okay? So, I cannot get this mechanism here to smoothly operate I have rounded filed you know this just won't trip over it doesn't something's out of alignment here that will not allow it to work smoothly even with a heavier spring but if you just push it past that little stick spot it goes and uh, there's nothing I can do to Adjust it full with it make it work. I Don't want to start trying to take this apart because I have no idea how that even works. I'd be breaking it anyways So what's the solution for a piece of crap? Like this and calling the company is just a waste of time and effort because from everything I've heard Winchester doesn't friggin play with their safes and any of these, oh, lifetime, limited lifetime warranty, all that crap. Winchester, you suck. There's the safe. There's the numbers. You can read it all you want because I've already drilled some holes in it and made it so at least it'll lock. 
And what I did was I put two holes on the front here and here and uh, got a U-bolt and then just went through and bolted it on the inside. I'll be able to put the panel back on so it'll look clean and uh, when the cables pulled with a padlock it's shut. But let me also say this was a brand new safe. I've had it in my house. How come there's all this rust? When I first got it, rust everywhere on the inside of this. I bet you there's rust under these other panels. This thing's a piece of crap. This is not a good safe. I would not recommend Winchester safes to anybody. Stay away from them. And Winchester, send somebody out to my house and prove me wrong. Yeah, like that's going to happen. Okay. Because all of this and this whole assembly here, it ain't right. It ain't lined up. I keep taking, I've taken the bits and pieces off, the springs, the, you know, I've dismantled this whole thing part at a time trying to make it work and it just is junk. And the actual metal cabinet itself, my God, I drilled those two holes in less than 30 seconds. And uh, in all probability, I could drill through a lot of this and get myself in quick. Hell, with a grinder in about 10 minutes, you could cut a big hole in it. Yeah, these things, these safes are a joke. Maybe they're okay for fire protection because you've actually got sheetrock. That's all these panels are, pieces of sheetrock it looks like, or some kind of board to give you the extra fire protection. But again, Winchester saves piece of junk. Don't buy them. And uh, save yourself some money. I'm not sure if any of these safes are any good. I mean, you might be better off just getting a metal cabinet. Because the truth is, even though they're big and they're heavy, the actual security that you get from these items... I'm just not sure if it's even really there. Okay, that that's the long and the short of it. I'm just not even sure if you're getting security. There we go. And you know, just like this panel here, okay, I may be catching one, one and a half threads. That's just not enough. They should be using a longer damn screw than that. But, they're saying that's enough for being in here, and it probably is. Along here, the cloth has done all kinds of friggin' strange shit. Like I said, I believe this safe was exposed to water. And, uh, you're not going to be able to tell me different based on what, I, what I've seen when I opened it up. It's, it's just crap. Okay. Well, like I said, it closes up, it shuts, and with a good old fashioned padlock and a, uh, a bicycle cable, yeah, that's what it takes to make my Winchester freaking safe work. A padlock and a bicycle cable. Well, at least now, no matter how they try to push it up or down or around, it won't be able to come off the safe. So, there's no possible way to get the door fully open. But, listen, again, Winchester, bandit safes, pieces of crap, don't buy them. Can't say that strongly enough. Do not buy a Winchester safe. It is a piece of crap. Made in America, piece of crap. And I overpaid because I bought it at my favorite gun, stop, gun show, gun, gun store. I could have bought it at Tractor Supply or something for less money and gotten an electric lock. And it still would have been a piece of crap. 